The skull. Let's start with the major bone, bones of the skull. The forehead region, which is separated by this coronal suture right here, is the frontal bone. It would include the brows of the eyes, up through the forehead, and even to the side of the skull. The back side of the skull, separated by the coronal suture and the sagittal suture down the center, this is the parietal bone, the parietal bone. You also have a parietal bone on the right side of the skull. The round region right here that includes the zygomatic process. It also includes the auditory canal. This is the temporal bone. You also have a temporal bone on this surface here, temporal bone. The cheekbone is the zygomatic bone. The zygomatic bone and the zygomatic process join together to form the zygomatic arch, which forms the cheekbone. The upper jaw is the maxilla. It includes the upper jaw plate for the teeth. The bridge of the nose is separated into two parts. This is the, these are the nasal bones. And the jaw bone, the lower jaw bone, is the mandible. We also have the base of the eye, which forms the sphenoid bone, and the inside part of the eye is the ethmoid bone. Now let's talk about some of the structures we need to isolate. In the very back center of the eye, the round hole in the back center, that is the optic canal. And you have an optic canal on both sides of the eye. You also have four small holes in the orbit of the eye. One here, one here, one here in the, in the zygomatic bone, and another one here on this side. These are the orbital foramen. Orbital foramen are where the sinuses relieve pressure in your eye. If we turn the skull over, this back plate, the lower plate of the skull, is the occipital bone. The occipital bone has some very key structures. The mastoid process is the large knob on the side of the occipital bone. And you also have a mastoid process on this side. Then you have a very pointed process right in front of the mastoid. This is called the styloid process. And then in front of this opening, which is the foramen magnum, you have two knobs that basically sit on the atlas, and those are the occipital condyles. This crevice here, on this side and on this side, that is the carotid, and this opening here and this opening here, that is the jugular, and that's where the carotid artery and the jugular vein enter and exit the brain. The roof of the mouth is called the hard palate. The roof of the mouth is called the hard palate. Those are the basic structures of the skull.